Welcome back to the Blind Symmetry Lore Painting Channel. In today's video, we will try to paint a uh, Mega Bass S crank style crankbait in a largemouth bass pattern. Doing something a little different today. I uh, I converted this into a five millimeter uh, needle nozzle combo, and uh, I am not used to it. Definitely not. I just sprayed this lure here and I just, I went too hard, too hard. I'm going to have to add a little bit more white to that belly. So that was the first time I used it. So we'll go ahead and coat this lure here. Oh, I'll let this guy paint on the floor, I believe. All right, hold on a second. What's going on here? Yeah, it's my first time spraying at 30 pounds of pressure. I don't like it. Oh. Quick heat set. Yes, I do not like this 35 pounds of pressure. Woo, or 30 pounds, whatever it's on. Not liking it. All right, I'll leave it at that. That color was a a wicked uh, lime green, pearl lime All green. All right, off camera, I had to go back and add a little bit of white to these lures because that 35 pounds of pressure was way too much for me. I can't handle that. Much respect to anybody who was painting an entire, an entire lure at that kind of pressure. I can't do it. I made that setup for base coating. I just figured I'd hit it, try this pearl in it. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cover this with a wrap. Or we're gonna use this little, little wrapping frame. Let me set the lure down. Tape is holding me off a little bit. Should be holding them pretty tight. Maybe I do a couple on the bill. It's first time testing this out. This little frame I made. All right, our next color we're going to cover it with is four drops of Wicked Green. 
mixed with this some other green i don't know if it's called finello green i can't see it phyllo green i have no clue And I'm just freestyling with colors today. I made a few of these a while back, but I don't remember exactly what I mixed up. So we're basically, we're, we are winging this today. Give that a little heat set. I just hit the camera there. I'm really close to this camera. I don't know, fellas. Or ladies. I think I want to add a little bit more of that. That was four drops of green with one drop of that phthalo green or vanilla. I have no clue. But four to one. I'm doing two baits here, so if this ain't dark enough, I'll tweak it on the next bait. I'll do that one off camera, and if I add any different colors, I will be sure to let you know what I do. Let's take this bad boy off of this. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I'll darken up that back. Yeah, we can darken up that back right now, as a matter of fact. And that's all I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna add black and then some, uh, what do you call that? The magic sauce here detail moss green all right i'll get this this other one covered and uh sprayed okay i coated this one i didn't change any colors same mixture i figured i'd go ahead and take this wrap off on camera since, since the big reveal is always awesome There we 
you go. I'll hit the back a little bit. Do that off camera. And our next color is, I think we're gonna mix uh, just some straight black and go right down the spine and then cover that with some detailed moss green. Let's put that back in here for you guys. All right, now we're gonna hit her with a thin blaze down the center of the spine of black. Oops, not paying attention to what I'm doing here. That's all I want to do with that. That's all I want to do. I guess we'll go ahead and do the other one. Very lightly. I'll widen that up just a little bit, just to match the other one. Oh, yeah, I'll match the other one good. A little bit in that eye socket. Just a tiny bit. See a lot of people make the face really dark with black. I find just that little bit of overspray from hitting the eye socket is okay for me. And once I go over it with the uh, the uh, detailed moss green, get everything looking copacetic. All right, next color, detailed moss green. I'll move this box down out of the way. All right, detailed moss green. And we're gonna cover the broad area of the back. heat set on that. It's going to take a few coats. I'm out of my element today. Can't seem to do anything right. Miss the bait. Miss the bait and bring it to us. too far down. Oh my god, I can't do anything right. That's what my teachers used to tell me. <laughs> no, they didn't. 
All right, that's that one. I'll go ahead and do the other one off camera. All right. All right, we're back. I had to uh, delete some stuff on the, the uh, memory card here. All right, our first lure, we will cover the lateral line in the spots with uh, an artist sponge. And the next one we'll use a stencil. And let me see which one I'm gonna use a stencil on. Yeah, I'll use a stencil on that one over there. All right, let's see if I can. Let me hit the paper real quick, see what it looks like. All right, let's see if I can't mess this up. Yeah, that looks crappy. do the other side yeah I'll run with that all right let me set up the airbrush and in in the end I'm gonna coat both of these lures in a uh, pearl white. Okay, I went ahead and put the uh, stencil on here. I actually filled up the wrong airbrush with paint. I wanted to use my detail brush. So we're just gonna go ahead, low pressure, Now I've made four bass lures with this stencil and that was months ago. And the first one I did, I completely ruined it because I've added too much paint to the stencil and I'm probably gonna do the same thing on this one. So what I'll do, I'll just try to go real light And then if I have to drop the stencil back on here, so be it. The stencil is aligned pretty close to perfect every time, but pretty close to perfect. So that means I'll have like a double vision look to it if I uh, don't align it correctly the second time. But that's okay. I'm going pretty light. Big reveal. I probably went too light. Actually, I went too dark. Oh. 
but we will run with that. Now what we'll do is we'll load the brush up with some uh, pearl white and we'll give this lure a little bit of a sheen. this one out the way we'll do the other one first yeah I went a little too heavy with the uh, <coughs> with the uh, detail moss green Big splatter came out on the back, but we'll run with it. Try not to touch the lure. Try not to touch her, try not to touch her. She looks really, really bright under these lights. But... All right, we'll do the next one. Add a little bit of paint to the chamber here. I'll do that real quick. I didn't count how many drops I dropped in here. I just threw a bunch of each in there. <coughs> yes, I'm not coughing because of the paint. I am wearing a N99 filtration mask. And I have this filter here going on. And usually I have a fan behind me. 20 inch fan with a 20 inch filter on it running but it's a little loud didn't thin it enough but got another drop on there Did not thin it enough. See if I can flip this over without touching it. Now you don't have to hit it with the pearl. Oh, I keep getting splatters. That's what I get for not thinning my paint correctly. All right, a little bit more over the back. I'm in the belly. A lot a bit more on the belly. on the left hand side hope they'll be all right all right next time you see her they'll have eyes and a clear coat i'm going with black eyes on these ones thanks for checking out the channel i appreciate it